Welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-8 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if the resultant force is required to act along the positive U axis and have a magnitude of 5 kN, determine the required magnitude of FB and its direction theta. So to solve this problem, we will use the law of parallelogram of vector addition. For that, we have to draw the projections of the force vectors. So let's extend this axis u. This is u axis. And we have the projection of the force vector Fp like this. Let's extend this one too. And we have the projection of the force vector Fa right here. This is Fb, which we have to found out. This is Fa, which is 3 kN. And this is Fr, which is equals to 5 kN. Now, for every force, For FB, we can apply the cosine law. FB is equals to square root of FA squared plus FR squared minus two times FA FR. Cos 30. So Fb is equals to 3 square plus Fr, which is 5 square minus 2 times 3 into 5 cos 30. From here, Fb is equals to 2.83 kN. So this is the answer to the force Fb. Now we have, have to find the direction theta. For theta, this angle right here is theta, which means this angle is also theta. So let's call this angle alpha. This angle is also alpha. And for the quadrilateral, we have sum of the interior angles equals to 360 degrees. So if we could find the angle alpha, we can find the angle theta. So for alpha, we can apply the sine law. We have sine alpha over 5 equals to sine 30 over Fp F and Fp is equals to 2.83 kN. So from here alpha is equals to 62.05 degrees. But it, but you can clearly analyze that alpha is greater than 90 degrees. This angle is clearly greater than 90 degrees. So what we have to do, we have to find the another angle, which means alpha is equals to 180 degrees minus 62.05 degrees, which will give us 117.95 degrees. This is the correct angle that we have to use for our calculation. If we put, let's say this is A, if we put alpha equals to 117.95 degrees in A, we can have the angle theta which is equals to 62.05 degrees. 
So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible.